Hey there, young scientists. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of weathering and erosion. Get ready to get your hands dirty, make some waves, and maybe even cause a mini landslide. We're talking about real science here, folks. We'll be recreating the power of wind, water, and even ice, all with simple materials you can find around the house. So strap on your safety goggles, grab your lab coats, or maybe just an old t-shirt, and let's get started. It's time to unleash your inner scientist and explore the awesome power of weathering and erosion. All right, science explorers. For our first experiment, we're diving right into the action of rain erosion. Grab a clear cup, fill it up with some soil, about three quarters full, and give it a gentle tap on the counter to settle the soil. Using a spray bottle filled with water, gently mist the surface of the soil. Do you see any movement? Are there any little channels forming? That's rain erosion in action. Each droplet might seem small, but together they have the power to move mountains, or at least small particles of soil. Pretty cool, right? And we just recreated it in a cup. Keep observing as you spray, and let's see how much erosion we can create with our mini rainstorm. Ready for more weathering wonders? This time, we're using sugar cubes to represent rocks, and we're going to see how different liquids can cause weathering. Grab three clear glasses and fill one with plain water, another with vinegar, and leave the third one empty as our control group. Now, carefully place a sugar cube in each glass. Gently stir the liquids in each glass for about 30 seconds. Observe the sugar cubes closely. Do you notice any differences between the one in plain water, the one in vinegar, and the untouched control cube? Think about what might be causing these changes. This experiment shows us that weathering isn't just about wind and water, it's also about chemical reactions. Keep an eye on those sugar cubes over the next few hours and see how they change. Fasten your seatbelt, science fans, because we're about to whip up some serious wind. We're going to see how wind shapes the land, just like in deserts and on beaches. Fill a tray with sand, your own desert landscape. Grab a straw and be the wind. Blow gently across the sand. Do you see any ripples forming? That's wind erosion in action. Get ready for a chilling demonstration of how ice can break rocks. Grab a small, sturdy plastic container, one you don't mind sacrificing to the name of science, and fill it with water, leaving a little space at the top. Now pop it in the freezer and let it sit overnight. While we wait, let's talk about what's happening inside that container. Water is pretty unique, you see. When it freezes into ice, it expands. Now imagine that water trapped inside a crack in a rock. When the temperature drops and the water freezes, it expands with incredible force, putting pressure on the rock. Once your container is frozen solid, take a look at it. Do you see any cracks or bulges? That's the power of ice wedging. It's a slow but mighty force that shapes mountains and creates talus slopes. It's like nature's own rock splitting machine. Get ready to make a splash with this experiment, science sleuths. We're going to create our own mini river and see how its flow can shape the land. Grab a large tray or baking dish and pile up some dirt or sand at one end to create a slope. This will be the starting point of our river. Now slowly pour water onto the slope from a pitcher or cup. Observe how the water flows downhill. Does it create a channel? Does it carry away some of the dirt or sand? That, my friends, is erosion in action. Rivers are like nature's bulldozers, constantly carving and shaping the landscape. They carry sediment downstream, creating valleys, canyons, and even deltas where they meet larger bodies of water. Keep experimenting with different amounts of water and different slopes. This is your chance to be a river engineer, shaping the land with the power of water. Hold on to your gardening gloves, science enthusiasts. Plants help prevent erosion. Fill two trays with soil. Plant grass seeds in one tray. Water both trays regularly. Observe the soil. Does one tray lose more soil? Plant roots hold the soil. They prevent erosion. Plants are vital for the environment. Get ready to rock and roll with this hands-on experiment, science aficionados. Investigate abrasion weathering. Rocks rubbing against each other. Grab different rocks and sandpaper. Let's get rubbing. Rub the sandpaper against the rock for a minute. Observe the changes. That's abrasion weathering in action. Surf's up, science surfers. We're bringing the beach indoors with this experiment to demonstrate the erosive power of waves. Grab a large pan or container and fill it with water. Then create a small beach at one end using sand or even crumbled up cookies. Hey, science can be delicious. 
Now it's time to make some waves. You can gently blow across the surface of the water or use your hand to create a back and forth motion. Observe what happens to your sandy shoreline. Do you see the waves carrying away sand? Is the shape of your beach changing? That's wave erosion in action. Just like the ocean's waves crashing against the shore, the force of the water can erode coastlines, creating cliffs, arches, and other amazing formations. Experiment with different wave sizes and speeds. This is your chance to harness the power of the ocean and see how it shapes our world. Get ready for some fizzy fun with this experiment, junior chemists. We're going to see how acidic substances can cause chemical weathering, a process that breaks down rocks and other materials. Grab some chalk, whiteboard chalk works great, and a glass of vinegar. Now carefully break the chalk into a few pieces and drop them into the vinegar. Stand back and observe. What happens when the chalk and vinegar meet? Do you hear any sounds? Do you see any bubbles forming? That fizzing, my friends, is a chemical reaction. The vinegar, which is acidic, is reacting with the calcium carbonate in the chalk, breaking it down. This process, called chemical weathering, is happening all around us, even to buildings and statues. This experiment shows how even seemingly harmless substances like rain, which can become slightly acidic, can have a big impact on the environment over time. Get ready to shake things up, science explorers. We'll simulate an earthquake and trigger landslides. Tilt a tray to make a mountain. Sprinkle soil or sand on it. Shake the tray to simulate an earthquake. Watch the soil and objects move. That's how earthquakes trigger landslides. Thanks for watching, young scientists. Which experiment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to School Subjects Online for more exciting science adventures. See you next time.